So, you are looking for a way to lose weight quickly and effectively. But first, you have to ask yourself, why do I want to lose weight? Feel better in your body. Maybe to look good on the beach. Maybe you want to be more muscular to beat your friends in an Augustine game. Or just to make it easier for you to get garments shopping into the house all in one go. My name is Mark and in this video, we are going to answer the big question. Before we begin to talk about the process of losing weight, you have to assess yourself. Do I really have to lose weight? Let me explain this with my own example. I was an overweight young kid who was always wondering about how he could be more skinnier. Then I started doing sports, start, started to eat less, and in results I got skinnier. But after I started to go to the gym, only then I realized that now I needed to eat more to build more muscle. If you want to have the muscular body, then it's not enough to just get skinnier. It is important to have a solid foundation for what you can carve out your desired and goal dream physique. The first step towards losing weight is setting your goals. Where do you want your kilograms to be in one month, two months or in a year? Without a goal, sometimes we can be like hamsters running in a hamster wheel. We do not know where we started or where we are at the moment. That's why it is so important to set your goals before you commit yourself to this journey. Set short-term goals, like I will work out four times this week. When you accomplish that little goal, you will have a feel of success, yet you only just started your journey. Set long-term goals. In one year, I want to be able to run 5k in one go, or I want to lose 10 kilograms by the end of the year. These goals will keep you going and will have a bigger reward in the end, but they require a lot more commitment and self-discipline. With setting your goals, you will make your weight loss journey more fun and challenging and you will be able to track your progress more efficiently. As I said in the beginning, if our goal is not just to get skinny, but to look good, get more muscular, feel that t-shirt, then you will really have to move some weights. I recommend to lift weights at least three times a week for better results. This workout will help to activate different muscle groups. A simple and effective solution would be the bro split, where you first work out your chest, shoulders, triceps. This will be your push day. The second workout will consist for back and biceps. This will be the pull day. And the third and the final workout will be the leg day, when you only focus on the lower part of the body. You can also do calisthenics, which is a cool and great way of working out. In addition to these workouts, I recommend doing cardio three to four times a week. Do not worry when you hear the word cardio. This cardio really can shorten your journey. And if you do it consistently, you will have not just a strong body and fit body, but also increased stamina. Think of cardio as walking, running, cycling, 20 to 30 minutes a day. You can do walking in the morning towards your school. If you have the time and ability, always choose walking, running, cycling as a way of transportation. The next step is more important even than working out. This part decides whether you are going to lose weight or not. This is the part where a lot of guys, especially who just started this journey, will neglect. And this is nutrition. Before I begin to talk about nutrition, I have to inform you about the three main micronutritions. Proteins, carbs and fats. Simple as said, you need to consume proteins to build that muscle. Carbs for energy and fats for staying alive. A nutritionist meal is a balanced choice of ingredients with the right amount of each micronutrition. I am not a nutritionist. Yet, I can tell you about what for for me. Eating 2 grams of protein at times your body weight per day is a good starting point. From carbs, you should eat 3 grams times your body weight and 1 gram of fat times your body weight. Put in an example, if you weighed 70 kilograms, then you should eat 140 grams of protein, 210 grams of carbs and the remaining part 70 grams of fats per day. It is not complicated to lose weight. It all depends on your daily calorie intake. If you eat fewer calories than you burn, then you will lose weight. 
you will be in a calorie deficit. If you eat more calories than you burn, you will be in a calorie surplus. And you as expected, you will gain weight. I have a friend who is overweight. I have a talk with him and he said to me, I do not understand why I'm so obese. I eat good, work out, I sleep well. And later in that conversation, I found out it's true that he is eating healthy, working out and sleeping well, but he also drinks two liters of sugary drinks every single day, barely drinking any water. If you want to lose weight, you have to give up on Coca-Cola and Pepsi and sugar drinks because it can really harden your journey, especially in big amounts. Watch out with liquid calories because they can trick you. You get home from your workout and you want to have something to eat. What do you think? Which one is better? To make a banana smoothie with berries or to eat that banana and the strawberries without blending it up? Comment down below what do you think? Which one is better for losing weight? If you start your weight loss journey, then you have to be serious about it. Stop saying, from tomorrow I'll start eating less, working out or sleeping more. You have to start today. Little by little, you will change your lifestyle. And in the beginning, it may feel so hard to get yourself detached from your comfort. But remember, consistency is the key. And do not forget your goals. When you're having a harder day, then have that goal in front of you. And think about all the hard work you have already put in. I can say this surely. In the end, you will be glad that you kept going. If I have helped you even a little bit to start your journey or to push your limits for one more day, then this video has achieved its goal. If you have any topics or questions you'd like to hear about, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and now put down your phone and start living your journey.